Let's start with an easy example of using the solids of a rotation formula. That is, find the volume of a cone with the base radius of r and a height h. Now normally we would depict the this, this situation like this, where we'd say the base radius was r and the height was h, but we prefer to rotate things around the x-axis. So let's look at it like this. Ugh. Like this, where this is r and this is h from there to there. And let's try to find a function that does this. Well, the easiest function that does this is a straight line. A straight line that goes up, you know, goes to the point h and up r. And in fact, so that means it goes to the point 0, 0, and it also goes to the point h, r. So in fact, its equation, anyway, so when we rotate this around the x-axis, we are going to get the sphere that we desire. Uh, what is the equation of that line? Uh, the slope is rise over run, so it's r over h, and it goes to the origin, so it's 0, 0. This is just y equals r over h x. And the formula, the formula says that the volume is the integral from a to b of pi f of x squared dx. So in this case, it's going to be the area from, the integral from 0 up to h of pi, what is our function, r over hx squared dx. <clears throat> And what do we get? We get the integral from 0 to h. Uh, the pi can go out front. In fact, the pi can go out front. The r squared over h squared can go out front. The only thing that can't go out front is x squared, because as the dx implies, that's our variable. That r squared is that r is being devoured by its own exponent. Right, r squared of x. And now... What do we have? We have pi r squared over h squared times what? Times the integral of x squared. People are forgetting this. We have to integrate it. You add one to the exponent and divide by it. x cubed over 3 evaluated from 0 to h. So that poor pi r squared over h squared is just waiting and waiting. And inside we have h cubed over 3 minus 0 cubed over 3. But that doesn't. that's nothing. And let's see, we have uh, pi r squared h cubed over 3 h squared. We cancel out two of our h's, whoosh, whoosh, and we are left with one third pi r squared h. Ta da! And that is, in fact, the formula for the volume of a cone, which you've probably seen before, but you probably haven't seen where it came from. In fact, there's no way to prove this without calculus or using something that uses calculus. Rather tricky. I used to think that uh, da, 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 there had to be some way of cutting these apart and figuring it out, but no. That's enough for this example.